this is a Reason 5 tutorial, a beginner tutorial, and I'm going to basically give you a walkthrough of how to go about using Reason to make beats because I know there's a lot of people out there um, who try using Reason but um, get confused, but it really is a great um, software to use to make beats once you get to know the flow of it. So I'm going to run you through the flow of Reason and um, what you need to do to get started. So number one, when you pull up Reason, it's going to look like this blank session. The first thing you want to do is go to create, put in a mixer. I usually do that because it's going to automatically connect you to your audio input up here, which means any other thing that you put in after your mixer is going to connect to um, the channels 1 through 14, and then you're going to automatically hear it because it's going to your master out um, into your input, and then you're just going to hear it because that's where your audio is coming from. So I'm going to pick an instrument. Um, let's go with the subtractor. And you see it automatically connected it there. Say I pick another one. Say I want to um, play something else. And then it's going to automatically connect to channel 2. And I flip this over by hitting tab. I'm going to go back and forth. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, open up my window so I can have it full screen and I'm going to detach this sequencer by hitting this little icon here. So now I have the sequencer window and I can go back and forth between the sequencer window and the rack by hitting control 1 and 2 at the same time. Another handy window that you're going to need um, I usually pull up before I get started is the toolbar window or the tool window and you get to that by hitting F8 or going to window and um, hide tool window. So before I start making my beat I usually just um, quantize, click this button right here, quantize during recording so that way if you play something off you don't have to worry about stopping it, it'll just um, put it on beat for you and you can also quantize by um, the amount which is how close do you want it to the grid or how close do you want it to the value that you're playing at so say I'm gonna play some eighth note uh, rhythm or something then that means it's gonna be exactly on the eighth note if I change the percentage then it's gonna um, make it so that I keep more of the original groove to it but I usually stick to 100 and then I go back and use regroove uh, to add some groove to it but quite honestly lately I've been using Pro Tools a lot to make my beats but uh, I made a lot of beats and reason after a while you just want to move on so um, let's see after I do that I just play this piano sequence that I have up here so I won't have to play anything else so right on the on the grid um, and I mean there's different techniques you could use to give you a more re realistic play but that's all in a, another tutorial so um, I would if you wanted to quantize after your recording highlight everything and then click apply and then let's move it over hit apply and then it's going to move it to your grid how you want it and make sure snap to grid is on so that it will snap to the note value that you want it to uh, let's see after that I would put in another instrument so I would put in another instrument which I have here that's going to automatically connect then I would play another instrument um, when you're recording when you're ready to record uh, let's say I wanted to add in Kong at this point and I was ready to record I would turn on my click down here and turn on my pre count on uh, my pre count so 
I can prepare myself to come in and play. And let's see. If you go to. Trying to find it. I think it's options. Oh, number of pre count bars. And we can set the number of pre count bars you want before it actually start recording. And once you record, it's going to give you count. And then it's. Um, another thing I like to do sometimes is just record and um, have it on loop record which if you have a num numeric keypad if you hit the slash next to the number lock it'll turn it on and off and if you hit the asterisk it, it will record the um, record enable so slash turns on loop asterisk turns on record uh, might as well give you a couple more on the numeric keypad one and two will take your cursor uh, back to the beginning and end one is going to take you to the beginning two is going to take you to the end um, let's see it's just tips to get you started with making your beats mm. so basically I went over how to put in your mixer first then add a couple of instruments after you do that you're gonna um, go ahead and click on quantize gun recording if you would like to um, that works best for me and then choose amount and the value if you choose the wrong value that you're playing your beats gonna be off so you have to go back and replay it and choose the correct value also um, if later you decide that you want to transpose the key, click on the area that you want to transpose. And I don't want to transpose 111 semitones. I just want to go up an octave, which is 12, and then hit apply. So it's going to take me up an octave. Um, or I can randomize it and see what, what I come up with. And if I want to go down an octave, I hit negative 12, apply. I don't think it really did anything. So I need to highlight it and then click apply. There we go. And then I can control Z, undo that. Go back over 12, apply, go up. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess after this it would make sense to give you a tutorial on uh, some tips on using Kong especially once you get done a lot of people have trouble getting started with Kong so I'll go ahead and do a video on that next thank you for watching and um, be sure to check me out on Twitter and keep I'll keep you posted on uh, YouTube Quiana Lachey